Okay. But, you, but you can say something about the question which you really would wish to know the answer to. And, I mean, for, for me, it would be, what, what's consciousness? Oh, because yeah. because that's, that's totally baffling. Not, Richie, you know what I think? I agree. Not that you asked, but what I think on this is uh, consciousness has kind of baffled us for a while, okay? And evidence that we haven't a clue about what consciousness is, is drawn from the, in, from the fact of how many books are published on the topic, right? We're not really continuing to publish books, not really, on like Newtonian physics. It's done, all right? So, so the fact that people keep publishing books on consciousness is the evidence we don't know anything about it, because if we knew all about it, you wouldn't have to keep publishing. <laughs> so, so what I wonder, what I wonder, Richard, is whether there really is no such thing as consciousness at all, and that there's some other understanding of the functioning of the human brain that renders that question obsolete. To that, I've got to say, like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And am I, am I like thinking, or am I just like thinking that I'm thinking? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Will you Richard, stop? Oh, right, right, sorry. <laughs> Richard. We went, we went decades, we went decades not understanding the procession of Mercury. It was this big mystery, and we invented solutions to it, like a mysterious planet Vulcan tugging on it such that the, its, per, its perihelion processed. And, and that wasn't the explanation at all. It was uh, obviously general relativity, another thing, not the original question <laughs> we were asking. So you say you want to know what consciousness is, maybe that's not even the right question. How about oh. this? What's the nature of consciousness? Excellent. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> um.